Hello everyone and good day. I am John and Jules Zikabera, the group leader of the BS at Science research study entitled Sensory Acceptability of Rabbit Longanisa in the Municipality of Isabel Leyte. So at this moment, I would like to welcome you all to our research presentation. So sit back there, relax, and enjoy our research discussion. The group is composed of the following members. First, we have Jezame B. Itomai. Second, we have Harilyn B. Mahait. And lastly, we have Farah N. Ferris. Rabbit meat has a long history in Kulinari as an essential element in traditional cuisines all over the globe, especially in the Mediterranean region, as according to Petrasi and Cavani, 2030. It is considered as a high source of protein that contains a wide range of micronutrients, as according to Leroy and Petrasi, 2021. Rabbit meat has high nutritional content with dietetic characteristics such as the following, unsaturated lean and lipids, which contains 20 to 21% of protein, its amino acids are of high biological importance and it has low cholesterol and sodium content, as according to Parigi Bin et al. 1982, as cited by Bilansky et al. 2000. Rabbit meat is openly consumed as part of meals with different cuisines in European continent, especially in Italy, Spain, and France, which are the leading producers of rabbit meat in the continent, as according to Zote and Zendro, 2011. In the Philippines, due to the increasing number of health-rated risks among the commonly consumed type of meat such as pork and chicken, which we have the African swine fever and the bird flu, the Department of Agriculture is considering rabbit meat as a healthier alternative to pork in the Philippines, as according to Kudis 2021. But the introduction of rabbit meat in the Philippines has received an uproar from a number of Filipinos as they were accustomed in domesticating rabbits compared to just butchering them, as according to Sarmiento 2021. In response to these challenges, rabbit raisers were encouraged to process rabbit meat-based food products such as hot dog, chorizo, and longanisa in order to further promote the rabbit industry in the country. These challenges led to the creation of the novel food product, the rabbit longanisa, which its sensorial properties and acceptability was assessed in this study. The acceptance of rabbit longanisa in the Philippine market is still a question. As according to Petrasi and Cavani, 2012, ground sausages derived from rabbit meat is still quite unfamous to the marketplace. This research study is a small step forward in promoting the rabbit industry in the country, collecting various perspectives and insights regarding the acceptance of rabbit longanisa and assessing its sensorial properties will provide insights of consideration which will be deemed beneficial to the rabbit industry in the country. Statement of the problem. This study is aimed to determine the acceptability of the rabbit longanisa in the food market of Isabel Lady. Particularly, the study is sued to answer the following problems. The sensory acceptability of the rabbit longanisa in the market is using the hedonic skills in terms of appearance or colors, aroma, taste or flavor, juiciness, texture, tenderness, and general acceptabilities. Significance of the study This study's purpose is to gather insights regarding the acceptability of rabbit longanisa for further innovation and improvements of different rabbit meat-based food products. This is due to increasing health-related risk of consuming pork and chicken. So, a different meat alternative should be considered for daily consumption. To vendors, this will provide insights to different vendors to open new opportunities in the food industry. To rabbit breeders, this is to step forward in the rabbit industry. To business owners, this can be provide new ideas for establishment of new business opportunities. To students, will be gain knowledge on how to conduct a food product research area study. To Isabelanian people, they will be aware of a healthy and alternative to pork. To future researchers, this study can be used as a reference for future researchers. Scope and limitation of the study. The study aimed to determine the sensory acceptability of the rabbit longanisa in the food market of Sabelity. The respondents of this study were 130 residents of the municipality come from different groups in order to gain a wider scope of perspective regarding the acceptability of the food product through the sensory means, the feasibility of the food product in the food market was assessed using the data that 
gathered by the researchers. This study claimed the perspective of town and Isabel as a whole despite its respondents being minimized to 130 persons only. Not all the brown guys in the municipality are included in the sample size. The availability of the people coming from different groups during this pandemic was challenge to the researchers as they're the one who adjust their time schedules and proper observance of health and safety protocols. Chapter 3. Methodology. Research Design. This study utilized quantitative descriptive research design that determined the level of acceptability of the rabbit longanisa among the respondents of this study in terms of appearance, taste, juiciness, tenderness, and general acceptability. Research Instrument. The study utilized the modified 5-point hedonic scale in gathering data for the cooked rabbit longanisa based on sensory properties score sheet. The food product has the following scores and description. 5 as like very much, 4 as like moderately, 3 as like slightly, 2 as dislike, and 1 as dislike very much. Research instrument 1, as shown in figure 1, was used during the validation process of the development of the food product. It was utilized by the researchers validator and the research advisor in evaluating the sensory acceptability of the uncooked rabbit longanisa. Research instrument 2, as shown here, was primarily used by the researchers during the validation process of the food product and it was also used during the data gathering procedure in evaluating the sensory acceptability of rabbit longanisa during its mass food tasting. Research Respondent A total of 130 people were the respondent of this study. 13 people, each coming from 10 different groups such as teachers, students, PASAR employees, Philbus employees, market vendors, LGU employees, housewives, health workers, canteen owners and staff, and non-teaching personnel. Local of the study The respondents who are participated in the mass food tasting conducted by the researcher where the residents of the municipality of Isabel Leyte of 6539, this enabled the researcher to gather significant data on the sensory acceptability of the rabbit longanisa. Sampling technique. Purposive sampling technique was used in this study where respondents are chosen purposely from different groups of people such as teachers, students, pasar employees, purpose employees, market vendors, algeria employees, housewives, health workers, canteen owners and staff, and school staff and non-teaching personnel. Severe preparation. Place the ground rabbit meat on the large mixing bowl then add the ingredients together in the bowl in this order. Mince garlic, mince onion, one half tablespoon of paprika, one half cup of brown sugar, one fourth tablespoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of vinegar, two teaspoon of oyster sauce, and one half teaspoon of anato oil. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly until all the ingredients are evenly distributed throughout the rabbit meat. Then let it freeze in the refrigerator for at least one hour or overnight. Packaging. Prepare the ice candy plastic, funnel, and tablespoon. First, Tie the end of the ice candy plastic to form a nut. Measure 1 tablespoon of longanisa and use a funnel to insert the longanisa inside the plastic. Push down the longanisa further down to remove the air in the plastic. Then tie the end to form a nut. Ideally, a 250 gram of rabbit meat can yield 16 to 18 pieces of 1 tablespoon of longanisa. Place it in the steamer and steam the longanisa for at least 3 to 5 minutes. After that, remove the longanisa from its wrapper and then fry it with low heat until golden brown and serve it in the clean plate. Data Collection Primarily, the researchers themselves formulated the recipe for the rabbit longanisa. After the recipe was formulated, it underwent three trials and it utilized the research instrument 1, which is meant for the uncooked rabbit longanisa, and research instrument 2, which is meant for the cooked rabbit longanisa. During the trial 1, the researchers themselves produced a batch of the rabbit longanisa, they then cooked it, and afterwards they evaluated its sensorial properties. When they were satisfied by the results, they proceeded to trial 2, by which they sought the help of a chef validator 
who observed the process of making the rabbit longanisa in order to ensure proper procedure of making a food product. After that, when a batch of rabbit longanisa was prepared and cooked, the chef validator and the researchers themselves evaluated the food product. When they were satisfied by the result, they then proceeded to the third trial, by which they sought the help of their research advisor. Another batch of rabbit longanisa was produced and the research advisor tested and evaluated the food product. And when it was finally approved, the researchers proceeded to the mass data gathering. For the three trials, we utilized the research instrument 1. For research instrument 2, throughout the three trials, we have the following values. Table 1 for the uncooked rabbit longanisa validation process. Trial 1 has an average mean of 4.35 and average standard deviation 0.42. Trial 2 has a mean of 5 and standard deviation 0. Trial 3 has a mean of 4.8 and standard deviation of 0.45. Table 2. For the cooked rabbit longanisa validation process, Trial 1 has an average mean of 4.79 and average standard deviation of 0.37. Trial 2 has a mean of 5 and standard deviation of 0, while Trial 3 has a mean of 4.38 and standard deviation of 0.52. Data Analysis Data were analyzed based on the objectives of the study. Descriptive statistics such as the mean and the standard deviation was computed and was used to describe the level of sensory acceptability among the respondents in terms of the sensorial properties of the rabbit longanisa. Ethical consideration. In conducting a research study, it is important to adhere to its moral principles. A letter for conducting the study, signed by the research advisor, was shown to the respondents beforehand in order to inform them of the study to be conducted, and their participation was voluntary and it was not forced. The proper observance of the safety protocols was also observed during the mass food data gathering since the, the study was conducted during the COVID-19 pandemic. Chapter 4, Result and Discussion This chapter presents the results of the data, analysis, and interpretation of the on-the data gathered during the mass food tasting of a rabbit longanisa. The acceptability of the appearance of a rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.75 has an average standard deviation of 0.39 and has an average description of like very much. The acceptability of the aroma of rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.81, has an average standard deviation of 0.36, has an average description of like very much. The acceptability of taste and flavor of rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.85, has an average standard deviation of 0.36, has an average description of like very much. The stability of the juiciness of the rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.82, average this standard deviation of 0.42, average description of like very much. Acceptability of the texture of the rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.79, an average standard deviation of 0.47, an average description of of like very much. The acceptability of the tenderness of the rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.81, average standard deviation of 0.38, and average description of like very much. The general acceptability of the rabbit longanisa has an average mean of 4.86, and average standard deviation of 0.33, and average description of like very much. The general acceptability of the rabbit longanisa has shown that its overall characteristic is accepted by the public together with its health benefits of the rabbit meat, in comparison with other types of meat such as pork and chicken, the food product is feasible in the marketplace. The market vendors are even willing to sell the food product themselves in their respective stalls in the market. Conclusion Based on the results of the data analysis, the researchers concluded that the sensorial properties of the rabbit longanisa, which are the appearance, aroma, taste, juiciness, texture, tenderness, and its general acceptability, were liked very much by its respondents of the study. People are also opening their minds into consumption of rabbit meat if it would be processed into a food product such as longanisa. The food product, the rabbit longanisa, is even visible to be sold in the marketplace since people are also looking for a healthier alternative meat for their daily consumption. Recommendations to rabbit breeders. Rabbit breeders should focus on the mass production of fattening rabbits for meat production. 
business owners, they should venture rabbit meat based food products as it opens the doors for new opportunities. Sabilanan people. Sabilanan people should consider the consumption of rabbit meat as a healthier meat alternative to pork and chicken. To future researchers, they should conduct more studies and research regarding rabbit meat and its possible food products in order to further promote and raise awareness regarding the edibility and health benefits of consumption of rabbit meat. References So that would be all and thank you. Have a great day!